Plaza Mayor in the center of Madrid. It's a tourist magnet both day and night and serves as a stage for artists like drama student Paula Bratones. Her regular mime act here helps to pay her way through her studies. But the Plaza Mayor is more than just a place of work for her. I perform in the center because it feels like the heart of the city. Paula gives us a tour of the square by day. It measures 129 by 94 meters and is home to both businesses and residential buildings. The square's history dates back to the 15th century. There used to be bullfighting here. It was also used as a marketplace. It burned down three times and was rebuilt each time. The square has been a car-free zone since the 1960s. It's an ideal spot for meeting old friends or perhaps making new acquaintances, taking a break or adding a holiday snap to your collection. Looking down on proceedings is a famous statue. The square was built during the reign of Philip III. And that was back in 1619. Plaza Mayor has nine points of access. The best known is the Arco de Cuchieros, or the Arch of the Cutter Grinders. They were the ones who supplied knives to the butchers inside the square. The arcades lining the square boast a variety of traditional shops, selling postage stamps, vintage clothes and tourist souvenirs. One of the oldest shops is El Gato Negro, the black cat, which has been doing business here since 1919. It is said to sell every kind of wool. It's an attractive proposition for younger customers, including Paola Bretones. They discover here that they can create their own designs. They can combine materials in a way you don't get with commercial clothes. The Museum of Ham is one of many fine eateries in Plaza Mayor. There are hams from all across Spain to eat in or take away. Paola Bretones is in need of a break. If not simply from the weather, it's over 30 degrees in the shade. Paella and sangria, a classic Spanish meal. Madrid only really gets into gear after sundown when the city cools down. Plaza Mayor is the ideal place from which to start a tour of the local nightlife. And nights here really do mean strictly after midnight. There are a lot of bars in the area where people hang out until 3 or so in the morning. Having enjoyed a brief break, Paola Bretones goes back to work. A moving, breathing statue at the entrance of Plaza Mayor in the heart of the Spanish capital.